Hey internet, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about language. It's pretty common to hear people talk negatively about language that's used on the internet or through texting because they consider it informal and at a lesser status than like the written language or the kind that you see in literature. Internet language is considered lazy or immature. It's generally considered unprofessional to use this sort of language in any setting other than the internet, other than the informal communication that you have via text message or email or any of those things. But I think a little bit more than a year ago I was scrolling down my Tumblr dashboard and I came across this text post that was talking about internet language and it was the first time I'd ever seen anyone talk about it in a positive light, like as it being something that was useful rather than useless and kind of frivolous and not to be taken seriously. The interesting thing they were saying in that post is that there is this language that has developed online and it uses these shortcuts with words. It uses the letter U instead of the word U. And like now we're seeing where you're using emojis to convey an idea rather than text. And the argument that this post was making is that there's a difference in the way you choose to convey the thought that you're trying to convey. Like if you use the letter U, you mean something different than the written out word Y-O-U. And for a long time, I think that I was hearing people talk about internet speak um, and, and text based communication and that sort of like abbreviated way that you speak and text and all of those things. I was hearing it as, well, I don't understand why these people don't use full words. Like, don't they know how to properly spell the word you? Or, you know, don't they know the right punctuation? You know, why are there no capital letters? All of these things. And even I myself used to wear it as a badge of pride that when I texted people, I used full capitalization and full punctuation and correct grammar and, and spelling and all of these things. But it seems like such a silly thing to have pride over because it's clear, like, Language is not a static thing. Language that we use today is so different than language that we used 100 years ago. I remember that there was a video that I watched recently that was saying, like, how far back in time would we have to go in English before we wouldn't understand what they were saying? And I think it was something like 1500, so 500 years ago. Just because it's English doesn't mean that it stays the same all through time, and our grammar rules don't stay the same through time, and the words that we choose to use most often don't stay the same over time. And so naturally, when you have something new, a new form of communication, communication that we come across, like the internet, like texting, like all of these different things. Obviously, we're going to develop these new standards for communication, these new rules, these new patterns of speech. So it seems absolutely silly to dig your heels in and say, no, like this language can't change. It's changed before, but it can't change now because this is what the youths are using. This is what the young children who don't know the proper way to use language are. That's how they're talking. But what's really interesting is that using these different spellings and these different abbreviations and emojis and things like this, we are richening the language that we use online. We are allowing the opportunity to say things in more ways, in ways that are necessary because you don't have vocal inflection, because you don't have nonverbal communication. Like, we have to find ways to convey a message that might have the same words but isn't doesn't have the same intention behind it. My days of ragging on internet speak are over. I think that it's fascinating. I love seeing the way that language is developing. I am a huge fan of emojis. I'm a huge fan of talking in internet speak, uh, particularly when being silly, but in general I think it's funny. You will hear me use the letter V occasionally instead of the word very just because I think it's funny and I like the way it sounds. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that we are richening the English language or do you think that it is unnecessary and immature? Do you use any of the abbreviations? Do you like emojis? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.